Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. One day, a mischievous student interrupts math class to ask, when will we ever need this? If you want to show me math has practical value, maybe you can solve one of my challenges. Teacher, can you guess my four-digit passcode on my smartphone? The teacher decided to take up the challenge and carefully examine the phone. He noticed that there were fingerprint tap prints on exactly four of the numbers, and he asked the students, your digits are one, six, nine, and zero, right? The student was surprised that the teacher could figure out the four digits of his code, but the teacher continued with the lesson. Now, I just need to figure out the order of these digits. How many orders are there? Well, we know the passcode has a total of four different positions. There are four different possibilities for the first digit. We then need to use each digit at least once. So once we've used a digit, there will be one fewer possibility for the next spot. So there are three, two, and one possibilities for the remaining three spots. We multiply them all together, and this is equal to 24, which is shorthand written as four factorial possibilities. That's really not too many possibilities to check. The teacher then explained, but there's a simple trick to make your passcode harder to guess. What you should do is make a passcode with only three different digits so that one of the digits is repeating. For example, let's say you give me your phone and I see that there are fingerprint tap prints on three of the numbers, one, six, and nine. I know the digits are one, six, and nine, and I know one of the digits has to be repeated because we have a four digit passcode. The problem is I don't know which digit is repeating and that is going to make it much harder to guess. This will increase the total number of possibilities. Let's do a calculation to figure out how many codes are possible. So let's say I know the digits are one, six, and nine. Let's first suppose that the digit one is repeated. So one possibility is one, one, six, nine. Another possibility is one, one, nine, six. And we can just enumerate all of the different possibilities where the one is repeated two times in the passcode. When you enumerate all the possibilities, there'll be a total of 12 possibilities. We have four factorial ways to order four items, but we need to divide by two factorial because the one is repeated two times. This simplifies to be a total of 12 ways. So if the digit one is repeated, then there are 12 different options for the passcode. But it is possible that the one is not the repeated digit, six might be the repeated digit. We would then have a similar 12 options we need to check. The same is true if the digit nine is repeated, then there would be 12 different options to check. So we would add up 12, 12, and 12, and then we would know that there are 36 possibilities in this case. So to summarize, if we have one digit that's repeated, we see exactly three tap prints, there will be 36 different possible passcodes to check, and if instead we had seen four different tap prints, there would only be 24 possibilities. So if we repeat a digit, there will actually be more possibilities to check. Your passcode will be harder to guess just from the tap prints. It is truly a mind-blowing fact that repeating a digit can increase the number of possible passcodes that a thief would have to check. I thank Robbie and Aman who suggested this topic, but we're only scratching the surface. My initial analysis was done years ago when the default passcode on the iPhone was just four digits long, but that is no longer the case. What would be the answer if we have six digit passcodes? Is it still a good idea to repeat a digit? Let's calculate it. So let's say we start out with a six digit passcode that we use six different digits. How many different codes are there? Well, for the six different spots, we start out with six possibilities, then five, then four, three, two, and one. We multiply them together and we get a total of 720 possibilities. So if you use six different digits for a six digit passcode, there are six factorial or 720 possibilities. But now let's see what happens if we have a total of five different digits for a six digit passcode. So let's first start out with the case that the digit one is repeated. We need to calculate how many orderings there are for one, one, two, six, seven, nine. 
This will be 6 factorial divided by the 2 factorial to take into account that the digit 1 is repeated twice. So this will be 6 factorial over 2 factorial. This is equal to 360. But we don't know that the digit 1 is the one that's repeated. There are 5 different choices for the repeated digit. So we multiply this by 5 to take into account that any of the digits could be repeated. So 5 times 360 is equal to 1800. And once again, we can see that there are more possibilities if we repeat a digit. We go from 720 to 1800. So it is definitely the case with a six digit passcode that you want to repeat one of the digits. And in fact, we can generalize the result for even larger passcodes. If you have an n digit passcode that uses n digits, there are n factorial possibilities. But what if you use just n minus one digits? Here's the formula. We have n factorial ways to order n items. We need to divide that by two, which is two factorial, because one of the digits is repeated. We then multiply that by n minus one because the repeated digit could be any of the n minus one digits. Now, let's compare the formulas. Both of them have n factorial. So we need to see how n minus one over two compares to a factor of one. For n greater than or equal to four, n minus one all over two is greater than one. And therefore, n factorial will be less than n minus one all over two times n factorial. In other words, you will definitely get more possibilities if you use one fewer digit and have one of the digits repeated in the passcode. We then ask an even larger question. Should you repeat even more digits? This is a more nuanced calculation. So let's run the numbers. We have already calculated that if you use six distinct digits for a six digit passcode, there are six factorial or 720 possibilities. If we reduce this number down to five distinct digits, we have calculated that there are 1800 possibilities. In this case, repeating a digit does increase the number of possibilities. Now, repeating a digit has two conflicting effects. On the one hand, the thief doesn't know which digit is repeated or for how many times, and that's going to increase the number of possibilities they have to check. But on the other hand, there are fewer digits to actually make the code, and that's going to decrease the number of possibilities. So when we go to four distinct digits, there are different cases to consider. So one possibility is that some digit is repeated three times, like 111267. We can calculate the number of possibilities in this case. We can then also consider the case where two digits are repeated two times. So it might be 1122 two, and 67. We would have to take into account this total number of patterns. When we add these two cases together, we will end up with 1560 possibilities. This is more than 720 from using six different digits, but it is less than the 1800 when we were using five digits. We can repeat this calculation when we just have three distinct digits. We now have to consider one digit that's repeated four times. We can also consider a digit that's repeated three times, another two, and another one, or all three digits are repeated two times. So when we take into account all of these cases, we're going to end up with 540 possibilities. We then might just have two distinct digits. Now you can see we're going to have very few possibilities. So each of the six positions is either a one or two. So they're two to the six, which equals 64 total sequences. But we got to exclude the sequences that are all ones or all twos. So there are only 62 possibilities. So you can see the number of possibilities is shrinking because we just don't have enough digits. This is illustrated in the extreme case where we just have one distinct digit. That one digit has to take up all six spots. So there's only one possibility. Do not use just one digit for your passcode. So we can now summarize our results. If we have a six digit passcode, we have calculated the total number of possibilities based on a total number of distinct digits. We can see the most number of possibilities corresponds to having five distinct digits. So in this table, we can see that five distinct digits is the absolute most number of possibilities. But having four distinct digits is not far behind, but it is still better than having six distinct digits. So to summarize, 
when you have a six digit passcode, repeating exactly one digit gives the most number of possibilities. But now you might ask, what about the general case? So we want to formulate a question. Imagine we're using the digits going from one to N at least once to make a passcode of length M where M is greater than or equal to N. Now the total sequences of length M that we can make using N digits where repetition is allowed is N to the power of M. Each of the spots could be N possibilities. We multiply them all together to get N to the power of M. And now to figure out the number of passcodes where each is used exactly once, ChatGPT came up with a clever trick. Define AI to be the number of sequences that's missing digit I, and then we use the inclusion exclusion principle to find the number of sequences where all digits appear at least once. So amazingly, we have an explicit formula. If you have a passcode of length M, you could figure out the value of N, which gives you the most number of valid sequences. Now, when we're talking sequences, I always think about the OEIS, the Online Encyclopedia of Integer Sequences, and surely enough, there is a sequence which corresponds exactly to this problem, so we can use their table to answer a question. Let's suppose that M is equal to seven. So for a seven digit passcode, we're actually going to have the most possibilities when we use five different digits. So we can actually pull up their table and we can see the total number of possibilities is maximized when we use five different digits for the passcode. Now, six is not far behind, but the most number in this case is where we use five different digits. So for longer passcodes, you might want to repeat more than one digit. It will definitely keep the other person guessing what your passcode is. What an amazing and practical problem that arose in our daily life. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.